I just kind of like stumbled upon the idea like five years ago making um, it was like uh, journals for women that I worked with and then I kind of uh, came up with the idea when my grandma passed away her name is Lily Daniels and uh, she wanted me to dance and so I kind of had to come up with the idea so I just kind of got some vinyl and I applied the like the, the I guess the rhinestones onto the vinyl and then it kind of it just kind of went grew from there. And grow from there it did. Julie Paul started independently making regalia through a process she says is new, efficient, and affordable. It's so different from traditional methods, she won't share how she puts the pieces together. It's like a full outfit like this takes about, um, takes two days. Two days is, is actually pretty quick. So that's with six people though. So if it was just me, it would just take like seven to eight days, maybe ten. Paul started out designing capes, dresses, leggings, and moccasins. Now that her company has evolved into a full staff of six people, she designs and puts together full regalia for her customers. It's very therapeutic. And like a lot of my workers, uh, they, they actually have like a hard time stopping working because it's so therapeutic and it's like, it's like very addicting. So um, it's very like rewarding too when you see the finished product. Paul's creative growth and hard work hasn't gone unnoticed. She's been nominated for Designer of the Year at the International Indigenous Arts and Fashion Awards. Like, I was just really shocked, really, because I didn't even know like someone had nominated me. But um, I kind of like just thought, well, okay, I'm kind of stepping into fashion now and like bridal gowns and and just different kind of apparel. So especially with my embroidery machine, like I, I know that it's just like the next it's the next step for me. If Paul wins her category, she'll receive a free showcase in the New York Indigenous Fashion Week next fall and a photo shoot in New York City. But it's not the only international attention she's getting. One of my customers is actually wearing hers in, the, in Hollywood on the red carpet. She wouldn't reveal who that person is, but we can all certainly watch for it. Paul will find out if she wins the Designer of the Year Award on October 24th. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, Regina.